Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about Juicy Lucy Burgers. I don't know about you, but I have never heard of Juicy Lucy Burgers. And Mark Wenzel of Chanhassen, Minnesota asked me if I could make a video on them. So went online and did some research. Seems like they're pretty big in Minnesota, as it turns out. That's evidently the home of Juicy Lucy Burgers. Basically, Juicy Lucy Burgers is two patties with cheese in the middle. I mean, that's that's the basic Juicy Lucy Burger. Of course, I'm going to add my little uh, spin on it, as Mark asked me to do. So we're going to do it just a little bit more than that. So I'm going to take, take my hamburger right now. I've made an indentation. I've put some Worcestershire sauce in the middle. I'm going to mix them up. I like to have Worcestershire with my hamburger patties. Also keeps you from getting real sticky on your hands. You're still going to get sticky, but not as much as you would. It really gives it a really nice flavor. I'm going to be making a mess here. I'm going to try try doing two hamburgers. Hopefully, I've got enough hamburger to do it. I don't know. If we're going to. It's like I say, normal juicy Lucy burger is just cheese, but we're not going to be doing that. You know that. One of the things that makes the Juicy Lucy Burger unique is that instead of just putting a slice of cheese in the middle of your two patties, they actually quarter their cheese and stack it. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my hands here. I'm going to flatten these out so I don't get it. And you want to get them pretty flattened out. Like I said, I'm going to add some more things to it, so I've also got in butter, ah, there's that word again, I am caramelizing onions, mushrooms, and bell peppers that we're going to also add. Let's see, we're going to have quite a bit of stuff on there, so we're going to hopefully have these spread out fairly, fairly good and fairly thin. I say they actually quarter their cheese. I didn't think about this before it got started. How this is all going to come up. Let's hope I don't make a total mess out of this thing. I would love to do this on the counter, but I don't have a way to do it where you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm putting these on the stove grates and We'll see what happens here. Okay. Like I said, what makes those unique is to take a slice of American cheese and actually quarter it and stack that right in the middle. Now that that basically is a is a basic Lucy or juicy Lucy burger. Not sure why exactly they do that. But I say we're not gonna we're not gonna be happy with just cheese. Hopefully I've got these things big enough to be able to get a good seal on it. So now what I'm gonna do now take these sauteed onions, mushrooms, and bell peppers. Ah. It'll be so good. We're going to put these right on the burger. Tell me that doesn't look good, folks. I'm not going to put a whole lot on there because it's going to be hard enough holding this thing together as it is. Now, the whole deal is to put the top layer on there and get a really, really good seal on it. Because if you don't get a super good seal, 
your cheese is going to find a way out. And you're going to have just a total mess on your hands. Okay, let's see here. You know, I never thought about this hamburger sticking to this cutting board like that. I have to try something different the next time I do this. really hot standing right over this thing. Okay, now you see the big mound there in the middle. That's the cheese stacked up. Hopefully we got a tight seal on these babies. Yeah, we will know soon enough. We will know soon enough. All right, another key to the to doing these juicy Lucy burgers is to get your bottom your bottom patty pretty well done to get that seal set in. So here we go, folks. You can see how these things stack up. I mean, they're pretty. I could have made these a little thinner. That could have made them quite a bit thinner, actually. I have no idea what's going to happen when I go to try to turn these things. This could be a disaster waiting to happen. Anyway, we'll crank the heat up a little bit and get them going. While we're doing that, we'll get our buns fixed here. I don't know about you, but I love a really good hamburger bun. I'll tell you one that I've really found. This is from Oro Wheat. They're called Christine Sandwich Rolls. I mean, they are really, really good and they're soft. Alright, we're cranking now. That's just running everywhere. What we like to see. Doesn't have butter or fat in it. I ain't cooking it. Alright, slather a little mayo on here. Actually, a lot of mayo. Gotta have a lot. Like I say, you gotta have that bottom one done fairly well. Make sure you get a good seal. Because when we turn this thing over, I have no clue as to what's gonna happen. Never made one of these before, this is the first time. In fact, most of the things that I do on these videos is the first time I've made them. I like to kind of kind of do a live presentation. I always say if, any, if anything messes up, I'm not gonna show you on the video anyway, but actually that's not happened so far. Alrighty. Smell the Worcestershire sauce in here for sure. That thing is piled so full, I'm just and I'm afraid of what might happen when we go to turn these things. Looking good. I'll be on there a little while longer. I, personally, I like my hamburger medium rare. Some people think that's kind of weird, but it's the way I've always eaten my loving that thing. Time to get some more mayo. I'm 
going to do pretty good on that one side because like I said, I like a medium rare, so I'm not going to leave them on the other side all that long. I just hope that I've got the steel on there good enough so when I turn that thing over, we're not going to have burner spilling all over the place. All right. You ready for the turn? Hmm. I've got my super sensitive smoke alarm turned off. I know that thing would be going crazy by now. All right. We got the first side done really good for sure. Like I said, I'm not going to have this dude on there very long, because I like a medium rare. So far, the seal's holding. Of course, when we go to cut into this thing, I have a, I have a feeling we're going to have juices flying, which is a good thing. Instead of Juicy Lucy Burger, we're going to call these Juicy Lucy Jeff Burgers. What do you think? Got the main premise. You just add a little bit to it. The original, the originals don't have Worcestershire uh, sauce here. It's just plain hamburger with the cheese stacked up in the middle. Say what, folks? The medium rare. That's going to be about right. For some of you, that may be a little queasy, but it's the way I like them. So. I'm telling you what, that's looking mighty fine actually. up in the middle. I'm going to say this is probably a little raw for some of you, but it's the way I like my hamburger. You obviously can cook them to the doneness that you desire, but for me, that is a Juicy Lucy Jeff Burger. Mark, I hope you liked what we did for you here. Thanks to Mark Wetzel. From Minnesota, this is your kind of hamburger. Hopefully, I added a little bit of things to make it a little bit even better for you. Actually, that seal held together way better than I thought it was going to. Next week, since my vegetable garden is going really good, I've already got some zucchinis off of it. I think I'm going to do deep fried zucchinis and onion rings. So tune in for that. And so for right now, I'm getting ready to eat me some Juicy Lucy Jeff burgers. That's what I'm talking about.